You guys, I am so excited. I'm gonna be showing you how you can use your phone to maximize your efficiency and productivity in To-Do. So let's get to the mobile app and I'm gonna show you all my favorite tips and tricks. Okay, when you first open the app, it's going to ask you to log in. I've already done that. So this is my dashboard for all of my tasks. What I'm gonna focus on, I'm gonna click on my day. The thing that I love about my day is that you can add tasks, but it is refreshed every single day. So let's say that today I need to finish a presentation. It's literally that simple. I'm gonna hit return and it's gonna add that task. If I wanted to click on this task and if I wanted to make it important, I could start over here, and let's just say that I need to actually add a few more steps. So I'm gonna click on the Add Step button, and let's just say I need to do a little bit of research first. So I need to research the content, and then maybe I need to add another step that is build a template, and then maybe I need a final draft. So it's already added to my day, but I would like it to remind me, and I'm gonna give myself a due date of tomorrow at 9 a.m. If I want an actual due date for when the project is due, I'm gonna click on pick a date, and let's just say it's due on the 4th. And I'm gonna click on set, and now I have both a reminder and a due date. But in this one, I am just simply gonna add myself a note that the topic is Microsoft to do. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on done. So now on my day, I have my task. Let's say I wanna add another one and let's do a recurring task this time. So I'm gonna say send out newsletter. And then this time I'm actually going to click on the calendar and I'm gonna pick a date that is, let's say, next Tuesday. And then I want to send my reminder for later today and hit return. So if I wanted to make this a recurrent, so I'm gonna click on repeat, and then I'm gonna say weekly on Tuesday, I'll send out an email. So I'm gonna get a reminder every week on my iPhone that will pop up that says I need to send out my newsletter. Okay, so let me show you how to create a new list. Let's just say that you need to create a list that's specific to, I don't know, um, a board meeting. So in here, I'm gonna be able to put all of my related tasks related to the board meeting all in one spot. So maybe I need to create the agenda, and then let's just say that I also need to schedule the planning meetings. And then finally, let's put another one on there that's like post meeting debrief. So as you can see, now all of my tasks that are related to the board meeting, if I click on lists, they are listed all together in one spot. So it's going to batch all of those items together that are related to the board meeting for one easy view. Now, let's just say that I'm not the only person who's in charge of these board meetings and I wanna invite someone else. So to do that, I can just click the person icon. I'm going to select invite via, and then I'm gonna use Outlook. You can also send this via text if you want. Okay, now that I have assigned and added a few more people to my list, if you look at the top, you can see that now there are two members in my list. So let's just say that I would like to assign the agenda creation to someone else. So I'm gonna click on that, and then I'm going to assign this to Nicholas. And then let's just say I'm gonna add a note that says, please create a draft agenda for our next board meeting. I'm gonna click done. If I go over to remind me, let's just say I wanna be reminded 
on Monday. And let's say I wanna be reminded at noon. Then I can actually set a due date that is for the third. I'm gonna hit set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click out of it. So now you can see, if you look over here on the right, that this has been assigned to Nicholas. It has his initials next to it. I have a very clear due date and a reminder. And the little icon right over there shows me that there's a note created to it. So this is a really powerful way to connect all of your tasks, not just for yourself, but for your team members. So let me show you a couple other features that I really like. If you look down here on your dashboard, down here on the bottom, this is your entire task list. So everything that has been signed to you, all 17 things are listed here. If I go one up, these are all of my flagged emails. So these are emails that I have flagged on my desktop or on my app, on my mobile app for Outlook that will automatically get pushed here. So if I select planned, these are tasks that have an actual due date assigned to them. So here I can see by this week, tomorrow, or a future due date. And you can toggle right here under this week and to decide if you need to see everything that is overdue or for tasks that are this week or later. Then if I look under important, these are things that I have starred and marked important that they're urgent for me to do. Okay, so let's go back here to my day. So as I mentioned before, that my day is refreshed every single day. The great thing is that this app will give you suggestions when you open it up, if I click right here, this little idea icon, it's gonna pull up any suggested topic that looks like it's something important or that's overdue. So if you notice, everything in red right here is overdue. So Outlook is asking me, would I like to add it to my day? And I definitely would. So I'm gonna click a few of these on here I'm gonna hit the plus symbol. It's gonna add a few to my day. And if I've already completed, let's just say that I can mark these off. So this is a really great way for you to start fresh, but also decide all the things that are on your plate and organize your day. Okay, so now let me show you a few other really great features that I personally love in the app. So if I click on a list, each list can have its own theme. So this one is just purple, but let's just say that I wanna change the aesthetics. I'm gonna click on the ellipsis or the three dots in the top right. And then from here, I'm gonna click on change theme. So you can either choose a color or you can even choose a photo. So I'm gonna change mine to the beach theme and hit done. I might wanna go back and under the holiday party, maybe I wanna change this. I wanna change the theme to red. Okay, now if I want to create a new grouping of lists, then I'm going to click on the plus icon on the right, and this can be a new group. So here, let's just say digital declutter. Okay, so I'm going to hit skip on this because I want it to be its own group. And now when I create a new list, let's just say this is a declutter for me and I'm going to change my theme and hit done. So now I'm going to add a task and I'm going to say, I'm going to add a few things here. So maybe I want to review my files. Maybe I want to clean out my inbox. Okay. So now if I want to add this list to my group, I'm going to click here and drag and drop it under the Q4 digital declutter. Let's create another list and let's say that you're an EA and you are supporting an executive. Let's just say you're going to declutter for Tom. And let's just say you need to clean out Tom's inbox. Maybe you need to purge their digital files. You wanna purge their OneNote. 
So if I want to have this all connected into my Q4 digital declutter, again, I can click on it and just drag it to the top. So now I have all of my Q4 digital declutter actions all connected to one. If I want to collapse the group, I can. If I want to open it, I can. Let me show you a search function that I really like. So you can actually use hashtags to organize your actions. So I'm gonna search the hashtag comms. And as you can see here, there are three things that I have tagged, which is related to communications. So when you're using this version, it is a great way to categorize or pull together your information all in one spot. So let me just show you a few of my favorite settings that are really valuable for you to look at. So I'm gonna click on my picture over here at the top left, and here are some of my favorite settings. So the first one you can toggle on and off is where you want your new tasks to go. Would you like them to go to the top of the list or not? That can get toggled on and off. You can do a few of these other ones. I actually turn off the play completion sound on my mobile app. I don't mind it on my desktop, but I don't want it playing on my app. For those of you that use Siri, then you can actually connect shortcuts right here. If I click on add task, when you say add a task, Siri will ask you where to put it and it will automatically add it to your task list. The last thing that I wanna go over are the smart lists and a few of the connected apps. If you would like the to-do app to pull together your important planned and assigned to me lists, you can toggle those on and off. If you don't want to have those on there, I'm gonna to toggle those off just so you can see. As you can see at the top of my screen, now I only have my day flagged emails and tasks. So the planned emails have gone away and now the important emails and assigned to me have all gone away. So if I want those to come back, I will just toggle those on. You can also choose to auto hide empty smart list. So if you have nothing that is marked as important, it won't show in your list. So I'm actually gonna to toggle that on. The other two things that I wanna highlight is make sure that you have your planner tasks assigned to you. So if you're using Microsoft Planner, make sure that's toggled on and as well as your flagged emails. I personally like to get reminders. If you don't, you can toggle that off. But if you have that reminder on, you can have reminders sent to your phone of actions that are coming up or due. I hope that I have showed you some things that you didn't know utilizing the app for to do. So let me know in the comments below what was your favorite feature or your favorite tip. And if you're looking for more content like this, please like and share and I'll see you on my next video.